What is going on you guys, Raymond Warner here, and before we get today's video started, I want to let you guys know that we just restocked on a bunch of hats over here at RaymondWarner.com, so if you guys have been looking to get hats for a while now, I know we've been out of stock, but that is officially over, we have the black and camel one back in stock, as well as the ultra popular electric blue and black version so if you guys are looking for a hat or you want to grab one of the new just ride hats just go to www.ravenwarner.com and get yours today we also just restocked on drawstring bags which are over here somewhere boom here we go the just ride drawstring bags another super popular item over here is officially restocked so if you guys are looking to get some merch but you haven't been able to because we've been out of the items that you want go to www.ravenwarner.com and snatch some now but let's carry on with today's video i'm gonna shake this stuff up a little bit and give it a decent amount i'm not gonna spray this thing crazy because i don't want it to go all over the place why is it yellow Another day, another Dollar Tree trip. For those of you guys that don't know what camera I film with, I film with a Canon 1DX Mark II. This is the camera. And it's funny because I used to film with a much smaller camera and you, you'd get looks every now and then when you'd walk inside, which is normal. But now, when you walk in, like, man, people think you're really weird now. Like, especially when you talk to it, it's real weird. So today we're gonna do some kind of like a repair video. It's not really like a repair video, it's more of a testing video for something you would use for repairs. For when it comes to my headset, um, not necessarily wheel bearings, it's mainly headset. I used simply WD-40. That's what I used and I've always used for my headset when it comes to lubricating it and or making it spin better or taking noises away. Is it the best thing to use? Probably not, but again, I've always, always used it. People have always told me it destroys your headset and my headsets last forever. Today I'm gonna to be testing this lubricant which is from Dollar Tree and it's a dollar. And we're gonna see if this holds a candle to what I've always used which is simply WD-40 and it's worked the best for me. Again, is it the best thing to use? I don't know, probably not, but it's worked. So let's see how this stuff goes. Good, good, that's a nice camera. Thanks, bro. 109, man. So you're big into photography? I'm a YouTuber, so oh, it's okay, like, cool. yeah, so I, I always your, have this thing, man. Yeah, what's your, uh, uh, can I get your? Yeah, uh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. yeah so I've been uh, watching, uh, they do a bunch of sports. Like, uh, uh, awesome, man, I'll check it out. Man. All right, man, hey, thank take you. it easy. You too, boss, thank you. Okay, so now that we have exactly what it is we need, I'm thinking maybe I should get like a really expensive lubricant, but the only place that I can think of that has something like that, that would actually be for um, like a bearing or something like that. My boy over here at Allen's. We have a lot of um, scooter parts and things like that at Scooter Zone, but we don't have like a lot of lubricants and things like that, but this is not looking that good. It looks like there's nobody here, but Riley's car is right there. What the hell? Hey Siri, FaceTime Riley Russ. What's up, dude? Hey you, mister. <laughs> What's up? I'm just getting an Uber ride to my car right now. Yeah, I had a I had a flat tire on the Tesla. The, the thing was shredded. That car over there? Yep, you're there. Okay, cool. I'll see you soon. Rip a Tesla tire. Would this be considered false advertising? Because Riley is clearly not shredding. He's clearly in an Uber. Not shredding. Unless you talk about his tire. You know what I'm saying? I want to see where his tire shredded. I'm curious now. No. 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 Rip. It didn't shred. What's he talking about? It's just flat. Unless I'm missing something. Am I missing something here? Does anybody... Did, I mean, I don't see any shreddage. So you, you're not even shredding on your car, Riley. You're just a straight up liar. Uh, do you have a good one? Thank you. Is that tire low again? Mother dude. No one. What up, dude? Yeti! What is up? up oh, come, on. Come, come on, on. come on, Yeti! Come on. Oh. Hi, Yeti! Oh my goodness oh, gracious. Good Oh my goodness, you are very... Is that a new tire? It's a brand new tire. Like, wait, who... How'd you get a new tire on there already? I got it replaced, but I had my Harley, so I rode my Harley home, and I was like, I'll Uber back and grab my Tesla. But your other tire was shredded, shredded. 
Yeah. Okay. You're off the hook. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna close your leash in there. Yeti, come on. What up, man? <laughs> how are you, buddy? It's nice, nice to see you, man. Wow, how you doing? Doing all right. You know, same old, same old. Still that same scooter kid. <laughs> nice to see you guys. Yeah. Bye, Riley. Okay. Let's go, Yeti. Thank you, good sir. Good luck with your tire. Let me know if you break down and need help. Break down like emotionally or? <laughs> Okay, so we've got both of the lubricants that we want to test for today's video. This stuff is called TriFlow. I've used this on my bike a lot of times and it works really well. I've used it on my scooter a couple of times, like when I don't have anything else. Um, and this is kind of considered like a superior or high quality, oh look, superior lubricant. That's literally what it's called. So this stuff is pretty good. Um, this is about 14 or 15 bucks per bottle. This one is like the bigger bottle and it's $14. Good stuff. You'll see it a lot in the bike community and things like that. And we're going to be comparing that to the $1 spray lubricant from Dollar Tree. So let's cruise over to Scooter Zone right now. I've got some old nasty headsets that some customers didn't want after they replaced theirs for new stuff. So let's test both of these lubricants on those really crappy headsets. So we're here at Starbucks and let's see if my boy's here today or not. It doesn't look like it. it. Looks like it's a blonde girl. Hi. Hey, how you doing? How's the morning drive? It's good so far. He's awesome. Blessed. Thanks. Have a good one. It wasn't my boy, but she was nice. This has become my morning routine. My daily pick me up. Zip. Let's go. Okay. So I have a few headset bearings sitting right here. Um, they're kind of just like some generic random bearings. Uh, these three that I have are super dirty, so I'm going to clean them off a little bit before we move forward. But here's how we're going to do this. The plan is to grab two of those bearings and spray them with the cheap lubricant, and then grab the other two bearings and use the, uh, the TriFlow, the really actual good lubricant, and uh, see which one is better. And the way that we're gonna be able to determine which one is better is I'm gonna put them on my scooter. I'm gonna put like one set of these bearings on my scooter, do a run or two, see how they feel, and then actually spin them and see which one spins longer. Yes, I know that uh, these are all like gonna be a little bit different because some of them are different bearings, but they're all pretty, <laughs> they're all looking like this regardless. So it doesn't matter what brand it is or or anything like that, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be an interesting test. So I'm gonna venture out and say this is gonna be a relatively even test because these are not new. Like I said, they're pretty crappy. I don't even know what's on this one. Why is it so thick? So just so everybody knows, the headset that I personally ride is an Envy headset. Uh, it's a great headset, it's fully integrated and it spins extremely well and they last me a long time. And it looks like that is gonna be one of these bearings. Again, it doesn't say it on the, on the end or anything like some headsets do, but I, usually they are that kind of red color, either red or orange. Okay, so all bearings are now cleaned completely off. Some of these are a little bit different. Like I said, you can see that these bearings here, these ones, um, these are like a fully rear ended seal as well when this bearing has two seals. So that's gonna change it up a little bit, but Either way, these are all gonna spin and perform pretty close to the same regardless. Dang it, now my hands are mad dirty. Like I said, the stuff that I usually use is just WD-40. It's simple, it's relatively cheap. Pretty much everybody has some of this in their garage somewhere or you know somebody that has this in their garage and uh, it works great. I'm assuming this is gonna feel pretty close to what WD-40 is gonna feel like. And basically what that does to my headset when I use it is it speeds the headset up but it doesn't necessarily make it quiet and or smoother. If you're looking to get something that's a little more quiet and smoother, this might be the route, but I don't know yet. We're gonna find out right now. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna lay this down so that I don't get uh, the ramp super nasty and dirty. And I'm just gonna go uh, one bearing at a time. So let's start it off with, uh, we'll do one of these like kind of black colored ones. I am not gonna pop the cases off on this just so you guys know. And the reason that I'm not is because a lot of times people just grab this stuff and they'll just spray it into their head tube, um, like kind of through the opening in the front. And that's kind of how I wanna test this. Plus most of the time people don't pop their cases off anyway, usually it's like, really quick, something that people are trying to do and then get right back on their scooter or go to the skate park or something like that. So if you want to pop these cases off, I just use a razor blade and just kind of pry it up. That's kind of going to be a, a much better option for you. But if you don't want to, that's fine too. All right, so number one, I'm going to shake this stuff up a little bit and give it a decent amount. I'm not going to spray this thing crazy because I don't want it to go all over the place. Why is it yellow? Okay, it's yellow. It's coming out of the top. 
All right, I'm gonna tell, well, look at this. It is going all over the place. Dang it. I'm gonna let that one kind of sink in a little bit. We're gonna give the Envy headset, or what I think is an Envy headset, the benefit of the doubt here. And I'm gonna take this little, maybe that's why it went all over the place. All right, let's try this again. Please don't go all over the place again. All right, that was the problem. So if you guys are using this bottle from Dollar Tree, it's, you're gonna make a mess. It's gonna get all, kind of all over the place. All right, so I'm gonna let that sink in for a little bit and just work its way into the actual bearing. So I'm gonna give that like maybe 60 seconds. A few moments later. All right, so it's been about 60 seconds now. I'm just gonna kind of uh, pat these down a little bit. Maybe I'll just I'll flip it and kind of uh, just dry it off so it's not all over the place. Look it, it's already making a mess, dang it. This is not the test, but just first impressions. It's definitely a lot smoother, but I don't feel like it's spinning as fast as it does when I usually use WD-40. Maybe it's because this stuff is thicker. Because when I did spray it, it seemed like this stuff was not coming out like a, like almost like a water consistency like WD-40 does. To where it would kind of work its way in there a little bit better. Yeah, it feels a little better on this one. Oh no, that one feels better. That one, This one definitely feels better. This one feels a little bit better. We're going to call those two good and set those to the side. Now let's get these two bearings out and use the tri-flow on both of these. All right, so this thing, I am gonna use this for sure because I know it's not gonna go all over the place because this isn't a spray. This is this is something that you just kind of squeeze out and uh, it's a lot thinner and I, again, I don't want this to make a massive mess. All right, let's just kind of slide this little tube in here. All right, now I'm just gonna tip this and just give it a light squeeze. Much thinner, it seems like. I'm gonna do this one really fast. All right, so now we have this lubricant specifically in the spot I need it to be. It's not all over the outside of the bearing. It's literally just on the tops of the seals right now. And again, I'm gonna give that about 60 seconds to sink in there and try to get all within those balls to see how well this stuff works. 3.28 a.m. Okay, it feels pretty close to the same. This one feels like it's spinning a little bit better, like it's gonna be faster, but this one feels smoother. This one was really, really messy though. I, I, gotta, I gotta give that, uh, kind of reiterate that. This one was super, super dirty. So this one, if I spin it, it continues just for a second, not for very long. This one, like if you stop, like it doesn't spin whatsoever. But again, it's a lot smoother. Let's test out the cheap lubricant on my scooter really quick. We'll see how that stuff's riding and then we'll put these ones on after. So we'll be right back. All right, well, it's actually the following day. I didn't have a chance to finish this video yesterday, but here we are, following day. Kenzie just spilled stuff all over the freaking ramp. Look at this, unbelievable. And uh, we're gonna test out these two headsets. I have the cheap headset or the, ch the cheap lubricated headset in here right now. Matt's gotta get. <laughs> Be quick! Lightning speed! And I'm gonna cruise around and get a couple tricks on the half pipe and see how she feels. Oh, Hopefully, I got a booger. Do you got a booger in there? I hope not, bro. I've been having them lately, man. I'm not gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, cheap headset for. What's a what's a what's a headset trick? Like three bar or like double throw or double whip? Ooh, double throw. I like double throw. I'll do double throw. I'll do. Man, I haven't moved or anything yet today, so I'll just do whip in. Got the creaky knees. You know, I'll whip in. Stall and then double throw. Whip air! Ooh. Fine, uh, 180 fine, double. Uh, 180 throw. Huh? 180 throw. Like fly out? Yeah. Kenzie's out here leaving the phone <laughs> in my car. She's stealing. There ain't no cell phone, homie. Matt wants a 180 double throw fly out. That's hard. To downhill. What the? There ain't no way. Should I do it front side or back side? Front side. Matt. Yep. You said it. Let me do one first. Ugh. Ooh, or give me, or at least give me a front heel out of that one. Double throw and then front heel out. Nah, you could do, you could do front, front 180 bar, Let front me try heel. Front double throw first. All right. Ooh. Yeah, that's a, that's a weird one. Oh God, I'll get my finger, dude. I know it. Oh. Hiya. Ow. <laughs> I'm doing single bar and then your front 180 heel. Oh. Table. In the trash. The table. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna make it look like I landed that. Yeah, you landed it. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Better. Right, what's in there? Like a 1-8 trip whip? <clears throat> See. See, senor. Get it. Do single first. Oh. Oh. Be 
stupid with it. But... <laughs> uh. Oh my god, I almost died. Ooh. No bad stuff yet. What's another headset trick? Should I like lip and bar while I'm lipping? Yeah, I like that one. Oh! <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, it's scary, dude. I don't I don't think I've ever even thought about oh. Oh, oh. Where Mackenzie spilled all the liquid. Yeah, Mackenzie spilled it. I did not. <laughs> I know. I'm angry. I was drinking Raymond's drink. No, 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 no. No. It's not your channel. I offered the last sip. I want to hear it. Here we go. I'll land it. Oh. If I land it right now, Kenzie spilled it. Aw, oh, dude. Look like a land to me. The trick doesn't lie, son. That was a lit bar, and I said like. <sighs> All right, should we switch headsets now? I think we shall. We shall. All right, so headsets are switched out right now. We have the one with the tri flow in there at the moment. I have a feeling this stuff is definitely gonna be like smoother and possibly faster, but this stuff has worked good thus far. It looked, it did just fine on the last headset, but Matt wants a drink of this. No, no. Just wash it down with this. <laughs> nah, you first, take a drink. You first? Sport. You second? Mm -hmm. Nah, you just you. No, you, you thirsty, just... you look thirsty, bro. You thirsty too. Mm -hmm. I'll first, you second. I'm for some water. <laughs> Straight face. Keep a straight face. <laughs> My hair's growing already. Let's see how she's spinning first. So right now, again, this was like an old nasty headset. If I spin it, it's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty fire, dude. It's pretty flavorful. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. You can hear it. It's got some noise to it. Not much though. <laughs> but hey, but if it worked, it spin good, you're in the game. We're in the game. You you're know? in the game. You ain't gotta listen to the scoop. No. You gotta no. ride the scoop. And that's why I ride my scoot like it is. You know what I'm saying? Do it into do it into the quarter. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh. Now we gotta do both the other ones. Three down. Hurry up. Battery almost dead. Go. Ooh. That's a challenge for you guys. You gotta do a three whip in every variation that. You can. So like front side three heel, 360 normal whip, front side three down whip, and then back side three down heel. You gotta do them all in a row though. And if you mess up, you have to start over. Oh no. Three double? Three double. Ooh. Matt, did you got my back? Oh, three double? <laughs> three double down and you got my back. Three. On three single. All right, I do three single. Okay, I'm back on this scoop. Show on that one? Yeah. Let's try. Oh shoot, battery's gonna die. We gotta do it quick. <laughs> Wait, what am I doing? Three whip? Three down. Dude, I'm gonna loop out. No, you be all right. Oh, oh, you did three down, son. Shoot. That was fire. That was good. Oh, son. You got the double throw in there? I've never tried one. <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> you got your wrist? Yeah, that would actually kind of hurt. Not no, even bro. No, bro. No. Oh, but this one's feeling pretty good, though. I'm, I'm, I'm liking it's the way. Super good. Yeah, she's, she's chilling. Buttercups. It's been so good. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, so far, uh, I think that the trifle is obviously working better. Like it's actually. It's mobbing when it comes to the actual smoothness of the headset and the speed. That stuff was a little bit thinner than the super cheap stuff that we used over here, but I still like WD-40. Is that bad? I think that might be a good thing or a bad thing because it's cheaper, but it's not necessarily good for your headset. But like I said, I've used WD-40 for years and it's worked just fine for me. It's not a dollar. That stuff is a dollar. Triflo is a lot more expensive, but it's working pretty good. All right, Matt, what you got, boy? Broken wrist. Huh? I believe it. Son. So the question is, which one is better? Now, I'm gonna go off of one, price, and two, the actual value that you would get for a quick headset lubrication. I still think, 
I still think the cheaper stuff is like better, dude. Just because it works just fine. It's not quite as fast, but it spins plenty fast enough to do whatever trick you're trying to do at the skate park or in the streets or whatever, and it's a dollar. The other stuff's $14, and I guarantee you're gonna get a lot more use out of that $1 can 14 times than you would with just one. It's a cheap route, so if you guys are needing to lubricate your headset and you don't have 10, $14, Go to Dollar Tree, I bet you 99 cent store has something like that, and it's 99 cents, and you'll be good to go. You'll be back on your scoot riding in no time. But, shout out to my boy Maddie G for cruising in, Yo. and hanging out with the squad. Follow your boy on Instagram. Follow Scooters on Instagram. Also, the newest video, the first revamp video on the Scooters on YouTube channel is going up tomorrow. This man's built up a nasty scoot. If you guys want to see the very first video that we made here at Scooter Zone on the new Scooter Zone channel, check it out tomorrow. But again, shouts out to the Manny G. Shouts out to the Zone, of course, for, I mean, can I shout myself out? Yeah. Shouts out to Scooter Zone for letting us use the half pipe. <laughs> Do not forget, you guys, we have a restock on hats over at RaymondWarner.com. We also have the new hats, and we also have the all new Scooter Zone drawstring bags, which are gonna be going up on the site probably later on today or tomorrow. So grab one of these as soon as you can if you want one. There's not many of them. That box is it. But thank you guys for watching as always. Much love to every single one of you guys that watches the vlog every single day. You guys are awesome. And until next time, I'm out of here. Later. <laughs>